I've been talking with Greg Lintern, the city's new chief planner. He's replacing Jennifer Keysmat. Now, we focus now on where he sees the city in 20 years and also the impact of the OMB being replaced. Is that good or bad for Toronto, the changes that have come in? Well, that's a change that we've long advocated for. The, uh, the change to, uh, that the provincial government has made and it's now effective as of April 4th. A uh, great opportunity for Toronto to really become masters in our own house uh, around making planning decisions for ourselves through our own city council and controlling a better control of the outcomes. It's also going to come with increased responsibility though to make the tough decisions here in the city of Toronto about the future and make sure that we bring online the infrastructure that we need to support livable communities. What would you like to think when you leave from your position, hopefully not for a long time, but yeah, yeah, when you leave yeah. from it? When I think about, let's say, 2041 and looking backwards, I kind of think of what happened when they built the Blue River Viaduct over the Don River, and they imagined being able to connect two parts of the city that had never been connected, but somebody had that great idea and that aspirational vision for a big bridge across the Don River. And I kind of think about that when I think about 2041, what kind of city do we want to wake up to when we, when we do wake up in 2041? Uh, is, that, is it going to be a greener city? Is it going to be a more inclusive city? Uh, are, are things going to be happening all over the city and not just in certain areas? Uh, all the changes that, that people want to see for the city to make it a much more livable place. So you want us to kind of dream big again? Uh, I think it's a great idea to dream big. You've got you to imagine what you want and then you've got to work hard uh, you've got to work backwards almost from what that dream is and put some plans in place to get you there. Lintern's resume may not have the building of Fort York on it, but he has seen a lot of key projects in the city, including planning for the downtown core along with the Portlands. Roger Peterson, City News.